This presentation uh, showcases how we at PREM have developed our transdisciplinary and collaborative conversations um, with more intentionality. We have moved due to time constraints um, from the idea of the initial speed dating carousel that we used to have to more intentional uh, booking with particular teachers during our carousel. Um, one of the things we've really moved towards is equal voice between specialists and teachers and therefore when documentation gets sent out prior to the carousel, both specialists and homeroom teachers are able to record their initial thinking and they're actually also able to book with each other. So specialists can book with homeroom teachers and homeroom teachers can book to see specialist teachers. Um, we have found that our specialist teachers feel like their voice is more equal as we go through this process. So throughout this presentation you will hear from educators at PREM that talk about their perspectives of our carousel from um, homeroom teacher to the specialist outdoor learning and PE teacher and also our creative director who also attends our carousels to help us and enhance creativity. So the positives for our collaboration as a school is that it really brings our units of inquiry alive. Um, it helps us as teachers to have a shared vocabulary which we are able to use and discuss with our students and they are then able to transfer that to different areas of the curriculum. And it really provides us with an opportunity to bounce ideas around and to be creative with our own thinking which really uh, benefits the students. Um, as a informal education bring to the formal education uh, I think for us, for me, it's a great opportunity. That but that carousel is really important in really sparking ideas that we then take forward um, across the school day and beyond. Um, so when we meet for the carousel we all already know what we want to bring to the unit. And um, with that, I think we could pinpoint more. So for me, if there's a, a weak link in the UOI, for example, I could be looking at the math unit or the English mu uh, unit so that there's more intention in my uh, interaction with that teacher and with the classes so that we meet the needs of uh, what the class is working on instead of making links that are maybe not as powerful. Well, I get to see the unit uh, long before we have to um, run the activity with the students. And um, for forest school or for outdoor learning, it's a great way to connect with, the, with what they're seeing. So it's not like a random activity that I just develop. For our transdisciplinary uh, collaboration, what really helps us as teachers is to, first of all, do a lot of thinking, uh, which really takes place on document that is shared and accessed by everyone in our junior school. The transdisciplinary collaboration at our school really um, helps the students to make connections across the curriculum. It makes their learning more meaningful and it really produces higher quality outcomes. And as individuals, we sit and think, and we sort of put down any initial thoughts and ideas that we think the children might respond to. Once we've done that initial thinking, we then attend a carousel, where as a homeroom teacher, I would then sit and discuss one by one with specialists aspects of the unit. We add to our documents so that we are recording conversation and we can always revisit it for ideas later on. After the transdisciplinary carousel, there's lots of emails and conversations, nothing too formal. 
interdisciplinary carousel here at Prem is an amazing initiative. Um, it gives the likes of me and other specialists within the organisation the opportunity to regularly come together uh, with faculty and explore ways in which we can enhance the learning opportunities for our students. Uh, from my point of view, looking at the lens of creativity, it really gives me a chance to work with individual teachers and other specialists to explore how we can enhance what we're doing already uh, in terms of engaging with our young people, uh, how we can make our learning visible so that we can share what comes out of those experiences, what comes out of our classrooms with our other students, our parents and our wider community. Um, and perhaps for me, uh, most importantly, it gives opportunities to explore with teachers ways in which we can empower our young people to allow them to have the greatest sense of their own possibility. Meetings taking place like this that are open-ended, that are focused on dialogue, that are focused on collaboration, are not only core to the essence of the PYP, but they are now a core component of who we are as a faculty at Prem in our junior school.